Hey kids, uh, ready to jump back in to learning more of God's names? We have done Elohim, we have done uh, Yahweh, and today we are talking about El Shaddai. So let's find out. If someone says he can draw really well, would you believe him? Maybe he's teasing or not telling the truth. Maybe he thinks he can draw better than he really can. But if he draws a picture and shows you that he can draw really well, then you know he can do it. After he proves he isn't teasing, doesn't lie, and understands what he can do, you know you can trust him. All through the Bible, God has shown that he can be trusted. He has proved that he is God Almighty. God told Abram to leave his house and family and travel far away to another country. God said that he would make from Abraham Abram, sorry, a great new family of people. Abram believed and obeyed God. And there was plenty of time to have children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Abram waited and waited, but God did not give him a son. Abram and his wife, Sarai, waited for years, but still they had no children. God told him again, Abram, I will make you a great new family of people from you. I will give you a lot of land and more people in your family than you can count. Abram trusted God. He believed that God would keep his promise. So he waited and waited again for years, but still they had no children. Did God forget his promise? Was God teasing or not telling the truth? Or was God not able to give Abram a great big family? Abram and Sarai got older. Abram talked to God about having a child. Would his servant be the person to start Abram's family since he did not have a son? No, God told Abram that he would have his own son. He would have as many people in his family as there are stars in the sky. Abram believed God and waited. He waited so long that he became an old man, but still they had no children. Maybe Abram would not have a baby with Sarai, his wife. Maybe Sarai's servant, Hagar, should have Abram's child. Abram had waited so long, soon he would be too old to have a child. So Abram had a son with Hagar, which was wrong. But God did not want to make Abram's family from Hagar's son. God would make Abram wait even longer. Would Abram keep believing God's promise? Abram waited some more. When he was 99 and too old to have children, God told Abram about his promise again. This time, God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many nations. He changed Sarai's name to Sarah. God also told Abram another of his own many names, El Shaddai, or God Almighty. This is what El Shaddai, God Almighty, said to Abram. This is from Genesis 17, 1 and 2. I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless that I may make my covenant between me and you and may multiply you greatly. God told Abram that he is God Almighty. He has all power. Nothing is too hard for him. He can do all things and he is all sufficient. But now he would also show Abram that he is El Shaddai, God Almighty. When Abram was 100 and Sarah was ni Abraham was 100 and Sarah was 90, God gave them their very own son, Isaac. Abraham and Sarah were very old, too old to have a child. But God is El Shaddai, God Almighty, and nothing is too hard for our mighty God. He can even make old people have babies. <laughs> Genesis 18.14 Is anything too hard for the Lord? No. All through the Bible, God shows us that he is El Shaddai, God Almighty. Nothing is too hard for him. He is all-powerful. He can do all things. He can flood the earth with water and dry it up again, open a path through the sea for his people and close it on their enemies, send a big fish to save a man, and use a boy's lunch to feed thousands. He can make blind eyes see, bring the dead back to life, and quiet a storm. God can do anything. He is El Shaddai, God Almighty. Nothing is too hard for him. We can trust God, who has told us and shown us that he is El Shaddai. 
He has proved over and over that nothing is too hard for him. Moses wrote in the Bible, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? Deuteronomy 3.24 What is the answer to the question? What God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? There is no God like Elohim, the creator of the world. Only Jehovah, Yahweh, I am, needs nothing and never changes. Only El Shaddai, God Almighty, is the one true God who can do all things. How great is our God! Someday the whole world will see the greatness of El Shaddai, God Almighty. So, can you tell me something that you remember from the Bible on your own? What are some of God's mighty acts in the Bible? There are so many to choose from. Just pick one and put it in the comments below. What are some of God's mighty acts in the Bible? And then make it a dinner conversation. What have been some of God's mighty acts in your family? Because God didn't just, didn't just work only in the Bible in the past. He works in our families, in our world now. And uh, we are so grateful for that. All right, let's pray and we'll wrap up. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for how you work in our lives and how powerful you are and how powerfully you work in our lives. And just pray that you give us the hearts to seek after you uh, day in, day out, that we can love you more and love each other more. In Jesus' name, amen.